a gift to our producer to let that song roll a little bit long, well, Beastie right? Boys. She, she yep. loves her some Beastie Boys. <laughs> well, some say it came from outer space. Others think it's all a big hoax. Yeah, dozens of people at one local beach claim to have seen a big bright ball of light crash into the ocean. Action News' Erica Bennett is trying to unravel the mystery in the sky. It's all new tonight. This image of a white fireball is creating quite the stir. We got it from a viewer who says his friend captured it on Flagler Beach Tuesday night. It's really just difficult to tell. David Begley has been in graphic design for 20 years. We asked him to analyze the photo to see if it was legit. There's only a couple of things really in here that would be of a concern. And if you zoom in on the image, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Um, this stuff called artifacting. Um, is pretty consistent with some of the other parts of the image, like there's um, stars and things that have similar artifacting. Begley says he's split. There's not enough resolution to tell if it was photoshopped and not enough clarity to tell if it's real. I think that could have easily been um, faked. Um, but then again, there's no real telltale signs either way. Some of the witnesses who called police Tuesday night reported a plane going down. Others thought it was a Chinese lantern or some kind of meteor. When we asked Dr. John Anderson about the picture, he didn't take long to respond. It's a fake. That was my first thought when I saw it. A quick Google search turned up a similar picture from 1966. It was taken during a meteor shower in California. It looks almost identical if you look closely the speckles and little features inside the objects in both that 1966 picture and in the current picture. What we do know is that at least 35 people saw something that night on the beach. We tried reaching out to the person who posted this photo on Facebook. Now he tells us he does not know its original source. Reporting on the South Side, Erica Bennett, CBS 47, Action News. And the Coast Guard says the fireball reports from Tuesday were pretty vague. In the future, they would like witnesses to have as many details as possible. I